Well, it's just about uh, a little more than an hour later. It's uh, 4.30 a.m. 4.30 in the morning of uh, Tuesday, September 15th. And we're starting the vlog for that day. We're starting, the, we're, we're, we're beginning the vlog. Even though just less than about an hour, uh, hour ago, we ended the vlog for, um, we ended the vlog for Monday. We're now starting the vlog for Tuesday. This is, uh, how a 24, 24 hour day works. It seems rather long, but, um, I'm at the end of, at the end point here, so I might as well start vlogging. Uh, for one section of work, and I'll be starting another in a few minutes. Uh, probably about a half hour, I'll get to the other section of work. Uh, the work is basically studying, so it's, uh, I, you know, I, I, I find it better than 9 to 5, but uh, it's not specifically 9 to 5. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say now? Oh, yeah. I've been having these discussions uh, that end up getting a little deep that go into infinite knowledge and uh, an area known as Gnosis. Oh. The Gnosis has a wide variety of definitions and is not specific to one thing. However, there are specific leanings towards things such as Illuminati would be uncovered in Gnosis. But one needs to sort of consider Illuminati in with a number of other considerations in terms of uh, occult spiritual paths. Now, typically, the Illuminati are, 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 are what they call Western-based thoughts and ideas in terms of spirituality, in terms of something known as the path. And they all call themselves the path, but, but the, the, it ends up being that there are more than one path. There is more than one path. <clears throat> However, if one examines the paths a little closer, one begins to realize that they don't all lead to the same place. And this is sort of the question is when you're on the path and you've decided, okay, I'm going to do the I'm going to do, uh, you know, in terms of your spirituality, that you're going to get on, onto a path. Uh, the question that, that sort of kind of pops into your mind, if you are sufficiently aware, is, well, where are you going? What direction is the path taking you in? And that's, an, that's, not, that's, such an, that's not such an easy uh, thing to answer, because in many cases you may not know initially where the path is heading, you just are you're on the path. Uh, my understanding of, of the various different paths is that the one that, the one that I am, uh, the one that I'm on, leads you to a oneness with God. And you have Christ in the rest, and, and, and uh, you have Christ as God, but as a brother, you have a mother, and you have a, fa you have a father, you have, in other words, you have an entire family. And you become one with that family. You become one with God. However, the others don't offer don't don't offer this. With the, a large chunk of them offer a oneness with nature, a oneness with the universe. Um, there's also uh, the universal retribution. There's a, a number of factors that uh, are even though some of the uh, the the meditations are very similar. The endpoints are definitely different. Oh. The thing is, is if if you under have an understanding of, of the beyond and a higher contents, and you're asked, you're given an offer, and this is what seems to be more on the Illuminati path of cash capital. Do you give up your soul to gain the world? Because a number of people on the left-hand path, that's what they believe. They, they, there is a left-hand path, and their goals, their immediate goals, is uh, wealth. It is rich, is, is get rich or die trying. This is uh, one of their mottos. And one doesn't necessarily look, have to look too far to see who their lords are and who they end up worshipping. 
And now, then this is where sort of a large chunk of it crosses into uh, a large chunk of the conspiracy theory, but the most conspiracy theorists have no clue what's actually going on underneath. They, they, they see some of the things, they make uh, some pronouncements about it, and that's as far as it goes. Their not actual understanding of the path itself it just fundamentally isn't there. And so, I was given such an offer as I've been talking about this. Someone has contacted me, uh, giving me an offer of illumination and so on and so forth. And there are a number of gurus who always pop up and sort of say, well, oh, we're going down the same way. Let's have a discussion. And, but the thing is, when you realize what they're discussing, what they're talking about, that you are not on the same path. You're not going in the same direction. You, you, you each are, be, be, you are basically e each practitioners of, of the path, or, or of a path anyways, but you're not definitely not going in the same direction and you're not on the same path. So the discussion kind of ends there when you're not necessarily on the same path. Even though you are aware of, the, aware of, of something more significant beyond yourself, you've, you've, you've come into this awareness. So. And this is this is goes into the whole thing with this whole thing of everyone talking about being woke. Apparently, the the woke, being woke is the new uh, in trend thing now. But most people are not necessarily woke. They're probably woke into just simply another dream. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, that's my uh, next uh, area of research that's going to pop up next. Is uh, I'm going to delve into the. Uh, into the into the dream world and see what goes on there. Again, that's going to take me a week to put on the, it's going to take me about a week to put everything on. I don't necessarily move as fast as possible. Uh, there's a lot on my plate, so 
just gonna be bit by bit. At least I'm doing the vlog every day. I'm getting the editing done every day. And I'm posting every day. So the process is going okay. <laughs> of how I do depends on where my mind is at. And my mind isn't always necessarily present and that's the part, part of our here is maintaining my mind in a state that is always focused on the road. And that's not always the case. And that's what I'm having harder a harder time doing today is keeping my mind on the road and keeping my mind Oh, I have to reduce my body ticks. I have these ticks, these sort of automatic uh, reflexes, which are fine when you're not moving or, or, or particularly on a scooter where you need your balance. But where you need your balance, you need to have that, 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 that singular focus. That's not good. It causes problems. Oh. Uh, I've got a red light coming up. And that might be the end of our discussion here. I checked the I checked yesterday's and it seems to be pretty good so uh, this might be a way to vlog. Hand off the accelerator. What I don't like is the kick that it, that comes in with the uh, the accelerator. Turn you off at the white. I got two both hands on the handlebars. I can't do one hand, uh, so that's too dangerous to do that. So we keep going until we keep going. And of course, uh, if it gets too long. The ending bit will sort of be either split into a second video or uh, cut off altogether. But these are things we've done on the editing. Sometimes I feel like I don't pronounce things properly, so I often, if you hear me repeating a word, it's because I didn't think I pronounced it properly. So I thought I said edit the editing desk. T at the end. should be editing desk. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Pronunciation is how you uh, pronounce the word. Pronunciation is uh, making sure your words are clear.
Well, it's time to end the vlog for Tuesday, September 15th. Uh, it is one, almost, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. On Wednesday the 16th, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I allowed my body to enter crash mode. And where it wants to sleep all day, and that's what I'm basically going to end up doing. I just got up to do some meditation and some gaming, and then I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. <laughs> and that's uh, doing my work in uh, the other realm, if it were. Uh, is it exploration? Is just that it's exploration. You don't have an you don't have any idea what's going to happen next. Your comfort level when you're doing exploration is in the simple routines that you do on a daily basis that you sort of have. And one of them is my YouTube stroll, my YouTube stroll. That's why I keep going back to it over and over and over again. Because that's my routine. That's my constant. That's that's the thing that's st that, that stays steady. Uh, everything else kind of fluctuates. Uh, rather heavily. Uh, and I noticed that uh, the number of people who are who are vlogging on uh, YouTube are shifting. A lot more people are moving over to TikTok, but uh, uh, even though TikTok was supposed to uh, have died, but th th that's not necessarily the case. <clears throat> And of course, everyone's now jumping on the um, the Instagram bandwagon. Everyone's the Instagram has, done, has decided to do the TikTok thing, and everyone's doing that. And it's the exact same thing as TikTok. Exact same thing as TikTok. Uh, the majority of the people there, the, oh, they're primarily girls who are doing that, and they're dancing. <coughs> And it's those the dancers, the gymnasts, the gym, uh, gymnastics. Uh, it's uh, a variety, and it's primarily that. It's, it's primarily uh, a younger set. Uh, the older set seems to have disappeared. Uh, well, they're not. They're, 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 they don't seem to be as focused on on um, on the short experiences, uh, the short, short social social experiences. I guess because they have they have places to go like bars and restaurants and stuff like that. Um, they don't really seem to be as focused on uh, the social media as uh, particularly like TikTok and uh, um, Instagram as are the younger set. It really depends on the personality. It depends on what's being done and how it's being done. That's these are sort of the uh, the dynamics of the situation. Uh, and the thing is, is that, once again, the songs remain the same. Oh. <clears throat> it's not Chinese songs, it's American songs, and it's the same, it, it does, as I said before, this kind of proves the point, it doesn't matter whether it's TikTok or whatever it is, it's going to be exactly the same thing. The lyrics are going to be the same, the words are going to be the same, the music is going to be the same. Uh, primarily, it's mostly hip hop. Most of it is most of the so-called gangster rap. Uh, everyone's doing that, and, and so the question is: Are, are the are, are the rappers themselves these uh, you know ghetto gangbangers? Are are they actually indeed ghetto gangbangers? Are there are these people who were simply born in prep schools and were given the privilege of getting up to a high point and? That now, like Whoopi Goldberg, they're playing the sort of the ghetto black. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a number of different styles of black that, uh, uh, and I use the term black because mostly people that I've that I've talked to who are black don't see themselves as African. They see themselves as American. The only difference is that they're black. That's the primary thing. But the thing is that just like Italians or. Uh, 
Chinese or whatever, they all have their own cultures. And so black culture is fundamentally different in some cases than uh, this is the white culture. But the black culture it itself has its own differentiation, it depends on where, what the experience is. And so you do have a ghetto experience, those who grew up in the ghetto. But then you also have a southern black experience, you have... Um, there is the, there's the difference between jazz and blues uh, based on their music and where they were where they, where they were and so in other words there's a number of different black experiences and they're not all exactly the same thing but everyone sort of seems to be in today's focus seems to be focused on the ghetto black whether they're ghetto black or not and Whoopi Goldberg was never ghetto black but uh, that's the character she's always played and so she does this on TV she does the, this is her persona when she comes on when you see her on TV, she has this particular uh, ghetto black uh, persona that uh, a lot of black people put on today. Uh, it's not necessarily that they're all like that, but the, this is the sort of the, the, the popular or the, or the trending persona. So, you can sort of figure this out for yourself and sort of just do this observation and, you know, and see that, that, that not everyone is who's acting ghetto is actually from the ghetto in order they have that particular background. But I, I'm able to do this because I'm in a loser position. I'm not necessarily important, so uh, no one sort of kind of sees who I am. And uh, that's just kind of the way things go. But for me, it doesn't matter what my worth is. It just I keep going, hair or not. So it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not, uh, no refunds.